that. Oh well, cool. Let's go. All right. So the wheels and tires are on. I got my awesome camera lady. Of course, she had to come help me bleed the brakes because I went ahead and did new front brakes, pads, new brake lines, got the lower ball joint on, which was a pain in the butt because the bolts were all stripped out. Had to weld some freaking nuts to it, work them out, broke two of them. Pretty awesome. Then when you call Napa and try to explain to them you need these bolts, whatever, they try to sell you the whole thing. Great time, great freaking time. So, ball joints oh inner and outer tie rods 280 freaking dollars insane how much they charge for those but we're pretty much we're ready for an alignment she's gonna be back on the road awesome camera lady took for a drive she approves rides a little sketchy the alignment i got the freaking tie rods as close as i could i mean i got them pretty dang good it drives decent down the road she lets her hand off the steering wheel it doesn't go too crazy i mean it's not it's not great but throw it on a computer and get her all dialed in, which me, that's a little above my capabilities. Which at once upon a time, whatever, that was set up here, but not currently. And I'm a little illiterate when it comes to computers and such. So, if you haven't watched the last video, my goal was to stuff 285s on a 4Runner. So what we done did, we did Bilstein 5100s, Old Man Emu 883s in the front, love. Hey. I'll just look at the boxes. I already went through this in my last video, but might as well do it again in case you haven't watched the last one. If you have, or this is your first time seeing one of my videos. Hello, my name is Rob. I'm kind of a dummy, but I do stuff and things. So 2883 in the front on the Bilstein 5100s. Then in the back, I did the 2890 or they call them 890s. I think those, whatever, are more for a land cruiser. They're for the 4Runner. Okay, they're for the 4Runner. So I'm just talking out of my, but whatever. And I had to do the pan hard relocation, whatever, which brings it up three inches so you don't get bumped, steer, you hit a bump, whatever your butt wants to do that, I guess, if you don't do that, which kind of sucks. You gotta weld it on, wasn't prepared for that, but I can glue metal somewhat, so it's good. And uh, the 285s, just forewarning, if you do an offset wheel, which if you're going to lift a freaking 4Runner, do an offset wheel because these things are already known for being tippy already. Once you go lifting them up, you don't do an offset wheel, whatever, you pretty much double your chances of flopping on your freaking side. Because of course, you go lift a rig up, you're going to be like, oh, I can do four wheel things now. And then you sell them dirt cheap on Marketplace, so it's up to you whether you want to do it because I like buying things cheap, whatever, and if it's beat up a little bit, it's kind of my forte. I don't mind some body damage. Chicks dig it. So what I had to do, 285s, offset wheel, which these are the wheels off my Soma out there. And I, I am actually partial to the aluminum look, but I went ahead and uh, yeah, put the black wheels this is all on my other video. Go back and watch the last video, maybe. So I had to do some trimming in order for these not to rub. I had to do quite a bit of little trim there, which sucked. I really didn't want to do that. But then I was kind of contemplating on doing a body lift as well. But the old lady's sick of not having a rig. Wants all the dogs to the river. So she's like, just freaking trim it. Who cares? So we done did that. And 285s stuffed under the 4Runner. Sits, I mean, it sits freaking cool. Has a nice offset to the wheels. Not stupid offset. Look like a freaking teenager coming at you, but enough to where you're like, that thing looks pretty good. It does look pretty good. And it's a little bit about the rig. It's a 3 4. It's got the auto magic, which kind of sucks. Would ever be way cooler if it was the bolt action, but maybe that's the future. Buddy Travis did it, so if he could do, I, I would say if he could do it, I could do it. But he's way more mechanically inclined than I am. I'm, I'm kind of a mechanic nowadays. My boss is like, "Hey, here you go," and pulled me out of my machine, stuck me in the shop. So I'm kind of doing wrenching, wrenching stuff now. But I, I'm by no means really good at it, and I'm way too big frame to be like tucked in little spots that mechanics have to get into. It really sucks. It's, it's damn near impossible for like a really big guy to be. A good mechanic I guess so uh, yeah all right if you want to see some more stuff on this forerunner or maybe my
gold Tacoma out there, which I went ahead and did headlights, taillights, just to match the whole black wheel concept, which I'm still not a huge fan of. Cause man, I'm kind of old, you know? So I remember back when this whole black wheel fad started, I was just like, God dang, it just looks like they took their hubcaps off. You know, I always like the aluminum look, whatever, just cause I'm freaking old, but uh, you know, it has kind of grown on me. And I mean, Tacoma don't look bad. It actually looks pretty good. I think it's just the, uh, the aluminum ring on the wheel. So if you want to know more about this or my Tacoma, Leave some comments, you know, tell me some stuff. Either that or just like flip me off emoji. Be like, you suck, Rob, or something like that. I don't really care. You can thumbs down things too, whatever. It's cool. If you don't like, and I talk too much. I've noticed like some videos, people are like, we just want to know how you did it. We don't want to hear your freaking life story. You chatter on about all kinds of other stuff. But some people actually enjoy it, think I'm funny. So whatever. And that's what I'm going to do anyway. So if you don't like it, whatever. If you do, you're freaking awesome. And, uh, yeah, stay awesome. Have a good one.